Paddle OCR is a popular open source OCR. They've come out with PP OCR V5 or Paddle OCR V5. This is the new generation text recognition solution of Paddle OCR. It focuses on multi scenario and multi text type recognition. It uh, supports five major mainstream text types simplified Chinese, Chinese Pinyin, traditional Chinese, English, and Japanese. So we can try out this particular model. Uh, they have a nice demo over here on Hugging Face. Okay, you have to just upload your image over here and you can say parse document. It actually generates your results. Okay, so let us look at that. Right, so this was a handwriting sample document which I uploaded. And you know, uh, it is actually highlighted the various text regions over here. And this is the text which has been extracted from this particular image. Okay, so if you look at the handwritten part over here, it still has some issues. For example, this united I has become a dot over here. Right, establish the constitution. You can say that C is in caps. Oh, okay, it is considered to be small. Actually, it is all caps over here, but for some reason, you know, S, it makes it small S. Right, and uh, you know, ourselves and our posterity, it becomes selves Anna over here. So, it has some issues with handwritten documents. This is what I have been observing from the beginning with Paddle OCR. So a little bit of issues with handwritten documents. Okay. So they are, they have also have this solution called PP structure V3, which is a next generation high precision doc parsing solution, making use of this OCR. So here, what I did was I gave this particular image as an input. So if you look at this image, it is got a tape tabular format over here, right? And let's see how it is parsing this particular file. So this demo is also available over here. I've uploaded that image over here. Okay. And I've said, uh, I've said generate. So it does layout parsing. Uh, okay. And it gives the output like this over here. So it has made this whole document into some kind of a table, right? Assets and this table, it has made it right. Now, if you look at, uh, you know, the columns over here, it says current assets, cash and cash equivalents. Yes, 23,466. This is dollars. Okay, dollars it is making it as S, but it is extracted this value correctly and the next value also over here. Okay, in your uh, what you call layout. Um, so it has extracted that S23,466. If you look at it, uh, I'm just trying to see if the next part is not come. 236. 23264. I'm not seeing it over here. Okay. I'm not sure why it is come out like this. See. All right. It has taken the first column. If you look at retained earnings. Okay, you have two values over here. 28. Let's see if it is there over here. So retained earnings. Yeah, we have both these values. Okay, so it is actually a little bit of jumbling over here. Okay, now if you look at reading order, let's see how it comes. It is showing how order layout region detection. So it is detected this table as the layout and OCR if you see Okay, so it is done OCR individually of all these components. That is what it highlights in color over here. And here is the OCR. See the OCR image. Okay. OCR it is doing like this. Dollar is becoming S okay, everywhere. Not everywhere. Here it is dollar, but here it has become S. Right. But I'm not sure of how well it has done the layout parsing over here. Because I see that you know it has done some kind of uh, one or five six columns. If you look at the image, you have okay one column, column three column. It's kind of a three column data okay, in the whole file. Yeah, but for some reason it is giving more columns over here, right? 
sub uh, this thing if you see it is giving more columns i think there is um issue in the layout recognition over here and the way it has come up over here. see one two three four five columns yeah so whereas if you look at this image it's more of a three column images it you have three columns in this it's kind of messed that part up okay so this is a structure uh, recognition which you can do with this particular model. I also tried out one more image for OCR over here. So basically I gave this image, you know, a simple chart with images and text and it was able to recognize properly over here. Okay. So this were some of the images which I tested with Paddle OCR. Now the thing with this particular model is it's just a 70 million parameter model. And what they are saying is compared to the previous version, it has a 13 percentage point end to end improvement. That is what they are claiming over here. And this is also multilingual. It's got support for 40 languages, 39 languages. Okay. Now what are these 39 languages? If you look at these are the 39 languages, Chinese, Hungarian, Serbian, French, Japanese, German. Ossetan, I don't know what is Ossetan, Icelandic, Korean, Lithuanian, traditional Chinese, Afrikaans, Maori, Malay, Dutch, Spanish, Norwegian, Bosnian, Slovak, Slovenian, Portuguese, Albanian, Swedish, Estonian. So you have a lot of languages over here, Indonesian, Thai basically, right? So it has support for these close to 40 languages or 39 languages. Okay. And you can do multiple things with this particular model like layout detection okay uh, you can do uh, layout detection layout region detection layout parsing ocr the code is also simple over here they have explained how you can do various things with this particular model you can use it as you know there are five modules in the pipeline document image orientation classification module optional text image unwarping module text line orientation classification module text detection module text recognition and it is very easy to run this particular code in a collab notebook so you have the simple code over here right for uh, your uh, you know visualization and saving also you can actually do the ocr so it's a very simple command in the command line or you can actually run it within a python program okay Layout analysis with this PP structure V3. So it has six modules, layout detection, general OCR, document image, pre-processing pipeline, table recognition pipeline, seal recognition pipeline, and formula recognition pipeline. So for the formula recognition pipeline, they have just given an example over here, okay, of how it does the formula detection and other things. The code is quite simple. You can check out over here. So I'll be putting the links to all, uh, you know, all the relevant collections and other things about PPOCR in the description of the video. Do check out. Uh, I found out this model through this X post basically from Merv. So you can follow Merv for more such interesting you know, posts from Hugging Face basically. Right. So this is an Apache 2.0 license. It is tiny. The benchmark looks insane and outperforms latest models, supports 40 languages. That's what is being written over here. And this is the collection in Hugging Face where you can go and check out these particular models. So some interesting conversations about, you know, uh, does it, it has multiple checkpoints for different language families. So it's not a single model supporting all languages. So you have multiple checkpoints for different languages. And for the appropriate language, you should use the appropriate checkpoint. Okay. Somebody says useless. I tested Urdu, doesn't support it. Okay. So you can go and check out this particular collection PPOCR v5 and see if it is useful for your OCR tasks. I hope this video on PPOCR5 is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.